say hi to the peeps. That's what I mean. Like, I want to sit down because then I'll make these ladies sit down. So just squat them. Hi, peeps. I feel so good today. I know. How do you feel? Great. Oh. Cut her some slack. She's not feeling very good, so <laughs> good luck. I'm not taking my hair out. I'm not taking it. Okay, take it out. Okay. I'm also going to take this off. I'm not taking it. This is the fourth iteration of the hair. I was only wearing it because my hair is so dirty, but you're just going to have to deal with it, so forget it. Because you can totally tell. You can! The ring light shows it more, better, not times. I can't tell. I'm standing right here. You lie. Oh my gosh, do your damn video. <laughs> <laughs> Shanny Fannies, welcome to Ash Kidding Shanny. I'm Shanny and I'm a mess. Hi Shanny, hi. I'm really sick right now. I don't know what's going on. We thought at first that I was having really bad anxiety attacks because I was getting really bad chest pains and I couldn't breathe and it, it tended to happen when I was really stressed. But then it kind of turned into other scary symptoms and we almost went to the hospital last night but we decided not to because I'm pretty sure that this is just my, and I don't know how to say it, costochondritis or something, costo -warlin. Someone will tell me in the comments, I'm sure, please, someone explain it, but it's basically an inflammation of this area, and it can make you feel like you're having a heart attack, but it's not. It's just inflammation of the joints in here and the muscles and stuff, so, and it can go from, like, basically everything under my boobies, which are really down here, but I'm wearing a bra, so they're there. All of that hurts. It's <laughs> like the top of my ribs, my chest, everything just um, really hurts. And on top of all that, I pushed out a kidney stone this week and I'm working on pushing out another one right now. So stay tuned. So today I thought because I'm feeling so awful, I would just sit on the floor, talk to you while I organize our thousands of DVDs. Not really, probably hundreds, I don't know. We have all kinds of DVDs here and you guys are gonna get to find out a lot about what we like and our personalities and stuff from this. And I didn't realize that till last night. I was thinking about that and I was like, wait, we they get to see like our favorite shows and what we own and all that. Like, that's kind of fun. I wouldn't mind seeing that of from other YouTubers. So that would, that's kind of fun. But I'm gonna do my best to just also talk through if any feelings come up. I'm not sure if any will with this, but I'll still talk about it other than like embarrassment and shame and all the things that I'm trying to not do because I don't need that right now. That's the last thing I need. So, um, yeah, so let's just get into it and here we go. So while, so when we moved into this house, I wanted to come up with a system to organize our DVDs. We have always been the people who just keep our DVDs in piles. Don't judge because we've never had a scratch DVD or anything go bad. Like, so we don't really have to stop and put them in their cases and plus that takes up a lot more space. So what I did was I went to the craft store and I got these cardboard boxes and I labeled them with the different shows or genres of movies. Um, and then I just kind of organized them into each box, but obviously I didn't keep them organized. So I'm gonna reorganize them and then hopefully keep them organized. So let me just go through these real quick. So Shani's movies, which is like chick flicks. Yeah, Simpsons, Danny and I are big Simpsons fans. Friends, Full House and Home Improvement, Dawson's Creek and Big Bang Theory, Lost, which is my favorite, Danny and Shanny movies, which is like, well, I'll explain when we get there. Um, Christmas, Christmas and Halloween, Big Brother, Survivor, King of Queens, The Office and I Love Lucy, and then Other for shows that I just don't even watch. I just realized there's blue paint on my foot from a painting that I did last night. So what I've done is I've turned all the boxes to face me so that I can see the categories and I'm going to separate them first and then after I'm done doing that then we'll go through each box and if it's just a movie box they can all be thrown in. It doesn't need to be put in order but if it's like a series box then we're going to put them in order and each box I'll tell you like why we love the show so much. So. So now I've separated them into their different piles in front of the box that they're going to go to, except for the movies. First, we're going to organize the movies. These are all movies, and I want to organize them into their 
boxes, like the genre that it goes in. And then we'll do the TV shows one at a time. This is the other box that is full of like random shows that I'll probably never watch again. Like I have The Hills on DVD. I have um, Seventh Heaven is in there. I used to be a big fan. I'm not so much anymore. What else is in there? Um, Keeping up with the Kardashians, just weird things that I used to love that I don't really watch anymore. So that's what that box is, which means that box is done. So goodbye. So we've got Shani's movies, Danny and Shani's movies, Christmas and Halloween movies. I already separated the Christmas and Halloween. They were kind of already separated. So this is all that I have. I have literally every Christmas movie under the sun. And I watch Christmas movies starting probably in November. Every night I'll watch one. The whole month of October, I watch my Halloween movies. Okay, so the reason you don't see a Danny's movie box is because he keeps his movies elsewhere because he watches movies in his shop while he works, which is on the bottom floor. So we don't really watch, we only watch Danny and Shanny movies together up here. So that's why these are the only two options because this is my bedroom. So mine and both of ours, so. Okay. Is Wolf, Back to the Future is Wolf, Invention of Lying, Big Fat Greek Wedding, The Cutting Edge, Clueless, Bohemian Rhapsody is both. 28 Days is Me, Cast Away is both. 13 Going on 30, a classic, Meet the Parents, Danny doesn't like this, but I do. Um, Day After Tomorrow, Let's Have Hers, Titanic, and Part 2 of Titanic. Uh, we don't have Blu-ray, so if anyone wants The Greatest Showman on Blu-ray, tell me in the comments below, maybe I'll send it to you. And it's two, so basically like any Disney movies or like action movies or adventure movies or like, um, I can't talk, sorry. Or like disaster movies, um, any of those, that's kind of all that Danny and I watch together. So most of these are gonna be my movies, but Groundhog Day, The Time Tra Traveler's Wife, which I haven't even seen. Pillow Talk and the Thrill of It All, yes, Lord's Day. My mom and I grew up watching Pillow Talk together all the time, it was our favorite movie that we would watch together. So I bought this recently and um, it just reminds me of her, so I love that. The River Wild, I think, this should be a Danny and Shani, but Danny doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's weird, but I love it. The River Wild. Father of the Bride is a classic for me. I love it. Home Alone 2. That's Christmas. Men in Black. Kung Fu Panda. Toy Story. Men in Black 2. King Kong. E.T. The Prestige is one of our favorites. Um, Miss Congeniality. We both like, but I'm going to put it in mine. Twister is another favorite. I'll, I'll tell you what our favorites are. Um, Twister. World War Z is our top movie. We both love that movie. But World War Z, Twister, Dante's Peak, Big Hero 6. What are our other favorites? Titanic. There's a bunch. I, I don't, I can't think off the top of my head which ones are like our favorite favorites, but I think those are our top five. Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. If you have not seen this movie, please watch it. This was my favorite movie as a little girl. It's, it's by Disney, but it's like a, it's a real people movie, like it's not a cartoon. And it's about this girl who, um, and it's set back in like, I don't know, 40s maybe 30s and 40s and this girl is an orphan and runs away to find and come across like a circus type thing it's not a circus but I don't know what it's called um no it is a circus and she anyway she ends up kind of learning how to horse dive like dive on horses um which is like a big show and so she's at all the carnivals doing big shows and then something happens to her and I'm gonna tell you what something happens to her that makes her job very hard to do. And that's all I'll say. So please go and watch Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. You won't regret it. It's a very, very good movie. And it's a very good kid-friendly movie too. Like there's no swearing. It's a really, really good movie. Let me watch or remember. I haven't watched that in a while. I cannot watch this very often because it makes me so sad. So I don't like it when, spoiler alert, I don't like it when the love interest dies. If either of the couple dies at the end, I hate it. Titanic, the only reason Titanic's my favorite movie is because they at least give us a glimpse of them being together again in heaven someday. So I don't like it when it ends and they're not together. I'm one of those people that's like, if I'm gonna watch a movie, I want it to be a movie, not real life. Like I know people are trying to be all artsy by not letting people, by letting one of the people die or by not letting people end up together like on, what is that movie called? Oh my gosh. City of stars, are you shining just for me? What is that called? That movie. Spoiler alert, they don't end up together. And I get they're trying to be all artsy fartsy about it, but I'm just like, I just wasted this entire movie hoping that they would end up together and then they don't, rude. So I'm kind of a romantic. Like I like to see, I like to see people end up together. Best Friends Wedding, classic. Save the Last Dance, this is a good one too. Um, just Go With It, super cute. Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. I was noticing when I was editing the other day, I just love that there's like a splotch right there of 
can't tell that it's blue, but it looks brown on camera and it looks darker and it looks like, it looks like I pooped myself or something. So you're welcome. I'm pretty sure my fever is going down, which is good. I just took some Tylenol before I started this. Jumanji, Danny loves Jumanji, like the old one with Robin Williams. Um, I can only watch it like once in a blue moon. I'm not the biggest fan and I don't know why, but Danny loves it. So sometimes we watch it. Shanghai Nights again, why do we have multiples? And they all say Haskell on them. Like, it's not like some of these are my mom's DVDs because we lived with her, like, I don't understand. Despicable Me Too, fun. For richer or poorer, that's a funny one. We Bought a Zoo is probably one of my favorite movies in the world. And people make fun of me for this because nobody likes this movie. We Bought a Zoo with Matt Damon and the cutest little girl in the world. And I just, and um, Scarlett Johansson, who else is in it that, that little Dakota Fanning's little sister, Elle Fanning. Um, I think it's so sweet. If you watch it to the very end, it's so worth it. I like everything up until the very end, but some people think it's stupid or overdramatic or, but like these people are have such good chemistry together. I love all the actors in it, which is a big selling point for me. And I love the story and I love the very end. It gives me chills every time. So you should always watch till the very, very end and pay attention during the movie. It's a very, very good movie in my opinion, but people make fun of me for that, so. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Danny and I both have like movie or TV shows that we like to fall asleep to. For me, I've got a few of them. So those ones I'm not gonna put in order because it doesn't matter if they're in order because I've seen them so many times that I can just watch them randomly to fall asleep to or something. So The Office and I Love Lucy is one of those. So I'm just gonna put them all in there. I'm not gonna separate into, or I'm not gonna put them in order. The Simpsons, yeah, these don't need to be in order. Friends is another one that I don't watch in order necessarily. I just watch it because I've seen every episode and so I don't really need to watch it. Same with Full House and Home Improvement. Classic 90s sitcoms. TGIF, if you remember what TGIF is, please tell me in the comments. So Dawson's Creek and Big Bang Theory is one that I do watch in order, so we'll separate those, and so is Lost. King of Queens is probably my favorite sitcom total, like overall. It used to be Friends. It's still Friends. I know everything about Friends, but King of Queens is just a great movie. So these also do not need to be in order. Survivor does need to be put in order, and so does Big Brother. So we've just got four series here that we're gonna put in order. So let's start with Dawson's Creek and The Big Bang Theory. So The Big Bang Theory is what I'm watching right now. So I go through different seasons. I watch different shows. And so like, it's kind of my tradition because you guys know I watch Christmas movies the whole month of you know November and into December till Christmas. But Christmas night, I start, it's like a tradition for me by myself in my room and I start the Lost series. So it's kind of like an exciting cause it's like Christmas and Christmas is over. And so that's why I want to watch my favorite show in the world because um, it'll make me not miss Christmas as much. So anyway, so I watch Lost and that usually lasts till like, I'll watch an episode or two every night before bed and that usually lasts till like February. And then I'll switch to like Survivor and then I'll watch Dawson's Creek and then I'll watch Big Bang Theory or The Office or or I'll watch Big Brother. Seven. Um, yes, I love Dawson's Creek, Don't Come For Me. It's a fantastic show and I grew up on it and it's from my era and I'm really old and you should watch it if you like really cheesy drama and like overly dram dramatized teenage drama. It's really fun, so. And all the style in it and everything was like when I was in junior high and high school, so it really just takes me back, I love it, so. Okay, season four, there's usually only four guests per season, so I'm just putting them in order now. Um, season three, all right, there's Big Bang Theory and Dawson's Creek. With all these DVDs I have to give away. Get excited. All right, well, let's do Big Brother. Okay, so Big Brother is my favorite reality show. Um, they don't really sell the DVDs, but there's this place online called BB, go to like bbworld.com or something. It's, it's totally legal. Um, it's just annoying. They just basically put it on their own desks, discs with like seasons and the episodes and stuff. So, I, or they didn't write that. Sorry, I did. They send it to you and it, they come in individual envelopes. They're labeled, but then I went through and labeled them. So I didn't have to keep them in the individual labels. So, all right, Big Brother, love Big Brother. <laughs> Big Brother 
Parade is my absolute favorite season. If you haven't seen Big Brother 8, try and find it online or something and order it from these people, but I'm sure you could find it online somewhere for free. I really wish they would like sell DVDs of each season. The only season they sell on DVD is season three. And one other one that was kind of stupid to me, I thought season eight was the best and then from then on it was good, but before season eight wasn't my favorite at all. So season eight is my, I love it. It's, I, I love it because it's also got a real life um, sweet story involved with an estranged dad and daughter. So you should watch it if you have already. It's really good. I'm just gonna put these in order from, again, last at the bottom to first at the top so I can watch them in order if I want to. out and I'm going to fill it like there's a bunch of food in here and stuff it's basically like a pantry full of random things <coughs> um I'm gonna clear it out real quick and dust it and then I'm gonna use it to use all these little like I have random little items down here like books and CDs and stuff that I'm gonna just put in there instead so that's what I'm about to do who had why do I have Parmesan Alfredo pasta sauce and seasoning mix. I've never even used, I don't even know what this is. Why is this in here? And there's like all these snacks that have been in here probably since I moved in. They're just old and stale. I have syrup up here. I don't know why. So if you want to win any of these DVDs, just tell me which one you want to win and then get five of your friends to subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed too and I'll pick one of you that does that. So what's up for grabs is The Big Bang Theory, the complete fifth season, the whole season, uh, the complete seventh season, and the complete sixth season. So if you want to win seasons five, six, or seven of Big Bang Theory, let me know in the comments below. Also up for grabs, Collateral Beauty. I did not like this movie, but if you do, I'm happy to give it away. Greatest Showman on Blu-ray. We don't have Blu-ray, so if anyone wants this, tell me in the comments. And then my other copy of We Bought a Zoo, which is my personal favorite movie. sign these for you and everything so tell me if you want to win and I'll have Danny pick the winner um just be sure that you're subscribed to me and it would be nice if you could get like five of your friends to subscribe we're trying to get our numbers back up so that we can expand this channel even more so let me know in the comments below that you did that um and we will pick a winner for these dvds so well I guess that's it for episode three have I only done three I wanted to be so much further along by now, guys. Like, I'm really struggling. Um, it just sucks that things keep getting in the way, things keep coming up, but I will get it all done slowly but surely. I don't want it to be a week in between each episode. So far, that's what's happened, but I don't want it to be that way. Just know that I am trying to do it more often. It's usually either my health or a situation gets in the way, a personal situation or something like that. So, or something else comes up or I get sick or whatever. So, um, doing my best. Thank you for being patient. Thanks for believing in me. And I hope that you all believe in yourself because if you believe in yourself, then you've got yourself there to believe in because you're all, always going to have you. And so believe in you so that you can have yourself 
and believe in yourself so you can have it. I'm tired. All right, guys, I'm going to go back to resting and hopefully get over whatever the crap is going on with my body. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Decluttering Shani. Um, thank you again for all the support. Spread it around, please. Um, invite people to our community. It's such a cool community. It needs to be bigger. We need to find all the people out there that are struggling that could use friends and awesome people in the comment section. Um, yeah, so I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.